Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam using consistent deformation method. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter and it is acting in the left half span. The total length of the beam is 8 meter. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 4. They are the movements MA and MB, the vertical reactions RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 4 minus 2, we will get 2. To make this beam statically determinate, from these 4, we have to remove any 2. Let us remove MB and RB. You can see that from the point B, I have removed MB and RB. So the point B becomes a free end. Previously, this beam was a fixed beam. But now it is a cantilever beam. Now let us make the coordinates diagram. Let us keep RB as the first coordinate and MB as the second coordinate. We are keeping these two as the coordinates because we have removed both of them. We have removed RB and MB from the point B. To find both of them, we have to use these two equations. About these two equations in the previous video, we have seen clearly. We know that P1 is RB because it is our first coordinate and P2 is MB because this is our second coordinate. To find these six displacements, we are going to use unit load method. In the unit load method, we have to make sections. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So, we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. You can see that I have made two sections, one section in CB and one section in AC. I have made both of the sections at the distance of X from the point B. For both of the sections, the origin is the point B. For the section in BC, the limit is 0 to 4. And for the section in CA, the limit is 4 to 8. Now let us find the moment M. We are going to find the moments in the sections from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the moment in the section in BC. From the point B to the section, there is no load. So the moment in BC will be zero. Now let us find the moment in the section in CA. We have this uniformly distributed load. It is acting in the clockwise direction. So it should be applied as negative. This is the distance we have to consider. This distance is x minus 4. We know that for the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. x minus 4 into x minus 4, it will be x minus 4, the whole square. Minus 6 upon 2, it will be minus 3. Let us apply this here. We have found the moment M. Now we are going to find the moment M1. For that, we have to remove all of the loads and apply unit load in the first coordinate. Our first coordinate is RB. It is acting upwards. So we have to apply unit load in the upward direction. You can see that I have removed all of the loads from the beam and applied unit load in the point B in the upward direction. Let us find the moment M1 in CB. This unit load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x, we will get x. Let us find M1 in CA. This unit load is acting in the anticlockwise direction 
so that it will be positive and the distance is x 1 into x we will get x now we are going to find the moment m2 for that we have to apply unit to moment in the second coordinate we have kept mb in the clockwise direction so we have to apply unit to moment in the clockwise direction you can see that in the point B, I have applied unit movement in the clockwise direction. Let us find M2 in the section in CB. The unit movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find M2 in CA. This unit movement is acting in the clockwise direction. So here also it is negative. Now let us find delta 1L. The formula is integration of m, m1 upon ea dx. In bc, the value of m is 0. So no need to make the integration, just to apply 0. In ca, let us apply the values of m and m1. In the integration, the limit is 4 to 8. Now we can take a calculator and do this integration. If you do not know how to do this integration, See the description below, there is a link, you can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator for delta 1L, I have got minus 448 upon EI. Now let us find delta 2L, the formula is integration of m m2 upon EI dx. In the integration, let us apply the values of m and m2 in CA. After integrating, we will get 64 upon EI. Now let us find delta 11. The formula is integration of m1 square upon EI dx. In BC, the limit is 0 to 4. Let us apply the values of m1. Finally, for delta 11, we will get 512 upon 3 EI. Now let us find delta 12 and delta 21. Both of them are having the same formula, integration of m1, m2 upon ea dx. We know that when we multiply x with minus 1, we will get minus x. After the integration for delta 1, 2 and delta 2, 1, we will get minus 32 upon ea. Now let us find delta 2, 2. The formula is integration of m2 square upon ea dx. In the integrations, let us apply the values of m2. Finally, for delta 2, 2, we will get 8 upon ei. In these two equations, we have found all of the displacements. Let us apply all of them. No need to consider ei because it will be eliminated. Negative into negative, it will become positive. Negative into positive, it will become negative. Now we can take a calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got these two values. We know that P1 is Rb. For Rb, we have got 4.5 kN and we know that P2 is Mb. For MB, we have got 10 kN meter. We have found RB and MB. Now let us find RA. For that, let us use the rule sigma V is equal to 0. RA and RB are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. This UDL is acting downwards. So it will be negative. For the UDL, the distance is 4. Finally, for Ra, we will get 19.5 kN. Now, let us take moment about A and find Ma. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Mb is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. 
Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally, for MA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now we can draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case, I have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using this rule, I have calculated the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be the maximum positive bending moment. In this point, we can make a section and find the bending moment. In that point, I have made a section at the distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. For x, I have got 3.25 meter. Now, let us find the maximum positive bending moment. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.25. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Finally, for the maximum positive bending moment, we agree 9.69 kN meter. Now, let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. To find the bending moments in the points C and B, we can use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 4.5 into 4. Finally, for the bending moment at C, we are getting 8 kN meter. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. We can make sections in these two points and find the distances. For the left side point, I have made the section at the distance of x from the point A. And for the right side point, I have made the section at a distance of x from the point B. Using the right hand side rule, we can find x which is 1.45 meter and using the left hand side rule, we can find this x which is 2.22 meter. Let us enter both of them. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.